tomorrow. What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Hey, it's Jason with Denworks. Got something pretty cool today. It's a 1968 Triumph TR6 with an RB25 Nissan turbocharged engine. This thing is <clears throat> really cool. Also has a Nissan five-speed transmission and rear end. Uh, pretty hot car and this thing is really fast. Believe me, I've driven it a few times. The turbocharger, single tur turbocharged turbocharger it's a, uh, a comp turbo I don't know the exact specs on it but really cool car I like the Panda Sports on it those are 16 inch uh, wheels we'll start it up here for you in a minute and show you lights and different things and show you a driving video but we'll just uh, start here from the front uh, to the back if you need some help on bring a trailer to sell something just let me know and you can look us up on Denworks D-E-N w-e-r-k-s dot com you can also look up us look us up on instagram you can see d-e-n w-e-r-k-s on instagram and facebook so if you need help and you don't like smoke and mirrors and uh don't mind us showing the goods and the bad then we'd love to help you so anyways this is probably our 200 and i don't know 40 second auction on bring a trailer and this is no reserve top bid will get it and so we'll just do a little, quick little walk around um, I'm going to show you the lights first you can see the lights are working you got blinkers uh, you might have to have the key on you can hear the fuel pump there we got the, the left and we got the right and then can you hit the bright lights there's a thing on the floor way up there in the front there you go and the bright lights work and I'm gonna go ahead and show you in the back real fast there's actually a, on a link on the auction that will show you the um, the build on this car so pretty cool you can see the tail lights are working we got blinkers left and right and then uh, reverse And there's the reverse. And you also notice that the lights underneath here work as well for the license plate. So I'll just do a little quick, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, fire it up here in a minute, but I just wanna walk around. The body work is actually really nice, nice and straight down the sides. I think this car was done around 2012, I'm guessing. So it has a few little things, a couple little chips that have been touched up. That's probably the biggest one. Uh, right there chrome on the bumpers look good little scuff right there around the light um, but you look across the hood very very smooth and looks great I can see right here there was probably the factory antenna you can see a little ring right there hopefully you can see that windshield looks good also oh hit the wipers real fast for us You can see the wipers work and you got to stop them um, in general right where you need to stop them the wheels are uh, two uh, 205 60 16s in the front and it's got 215 55s in the rear and if you look across the rockers really nice again no no rust at all um, no bubbles or anything like that we'll put it up on the lift so you can see it underneath but super super clean top looks really good you can see a little there was a little mend right there in the top rear tail light panel looks great and we'll just take a look here around this other side no rust around the wheel lips or anything like that basically this side just the same as the other one but super clean really nice rockers a couple little chips right there but overall looks great you'll see the camber on the wheels they did that on purpose just the way they built the suspension so we will go ahead and show you some more things Hey 
just wanted to show you underneath the bonnet real fast. There's actually a lever underneath the dash, which I already pulled uh, on the left-hand side, so it's a, more of a modern type le lever. So uh, we'll just take a look underneath the hood here. It actually looks great, all tucked in here, and um, just looks awesome uh, when you lift open the hood. And like I said before, it's uh, you'll see a build on it uh, in general on the uh, auction site there of when they originally build it, built it. Um, the comp uh, chargers underneath here, underneath this, and I took that off, that cover so you can see it uh, in general. But really nice execution uh, in here for sure. And I like it, everything's all polished and, and nice. You know, it's listed as a 68 and it's titled as a 1968, but it is a 69, uh, might've got sold and 68 uh, that happens sometimes uh, especially on English cars and Japanese cars and uh, kind of when they get sold they people mess up and they don't realize it's a 69 model even though it's sold in 68 so uh, the uh, but I want to show you the tag there it says uh, this is US feds April 1st 1968 which is kind of funny uh, April Fool's Day and you can see the number uh, there and the L isn't on the title, but I don't think it's supposed to be. I think it's just the commission number there because it's spaced off. You can see the Willwood cylinders there, and um, they did a nice job. We'll take the wheels off of it and stuff so you can see it, but um, the brakes and everything. But no rust in here, no accident damage, no crinkles or anything like that. That's mostly what I'm looking at uh, a lot of times when I'm looking at cars. It's just not all the pretty stuff, but we're looking at uh, issues and previous damage and things. But this thing is actually really clean. I'll hop on the other side uh, real fast so you can see you know, the integrity of the car. You know, just just super clean overall and no damage inside here so looks great you'll see it has a catch can you know i had a, a hemi charger i mean a challenger a, a, a brand new one that had like a engine had a lot of horsepower and it had two catch cans um on it for uh for oil and stuff and you can see some condensation uh in here and that, i think that's what it's catching more so is condensation and you can see a little tube that comes off here for uh, water, so a little condensation uh, there that's been added uh, to this car. On the uh, the Hemi that I had, it was uh, 526 Hemi, and it had two catch cans uh, on it. Because, you know, you put a supercharger and stuff, and turbochargers, turbochargers and stuff like that on stuff, there's a lot of pressure inside the engine, so you'll sometimes get a little blow-by, um, and that's pretty common. So go ahead and uh, fire it up there for us. The key is a little sticky, uh, by the way. Sounds good, not any weird noises or anything like that. Go ahead and rev it up pretty good. Go ahead and uh, go on the other side here. Go ahead and rev it up again. I love the exhaust note on this thing. Do it again. Looks like a lot of fun to drive. It sounds like it too. So we'll go ahead and show you some more stuff.
when they built it. And I just wanted to show you some of the gauges and stuff. It does have Willwood uh, brakes on it. We'll uh, stop it here in a minute. But you can see it's got a radio. The radio does work, but there's no antenna. So I really can't catch a good station unless I'm just in the right spot. And you can see the gauges all work. You can see the uh, oil boost. And you can see the uh, temperature and uh, fuel gauge. And also you can see right here, tack is working, speedometer, and the lights light up there for the, uh, the blinkers. And, um, and then also, I was trying to do that with one hand. It's funny. And then right here is the horn. And then wipers are up here. Oh, right there. So everything seems to be working in it uh, in general. It's a little darty having the um, the way the wheels are. Uh, um, now, now it slipped my mind. The way they're cambered. And um, also, it doesn't have power brakes. So it does stop nice and straight. You'll see there's no shake in the steering wheel. And it does stop uh, nice and straight. So, but overall, good running, running car, drives nice and everything. Also, the other thing I notice here too, they've got little vents here, but I don't have any controls for like a heater or, or anything like that. So they probably weren't using a heater because they had it down in California actually. So, uh, but just a fun car uh, in general. So we'll uh, cruise it around a little bit uh, more and show you some more things. is going to go ahead and show you the interior one thing i don't have we only have the one key that is not a factory uh, key for it for ignition i do not have locks uh, key for those locks and i don't have them for the trunk i uh, just want to make you aware of that in general but interior is nice you can see it's got a custom dash with all the gauges and everything, uh, odometer showing 1,455. There's the radio. And like I uh, mentioned in the uh, driving video, there's no antenna on the car. So um, that's something you'll have to figure out uh, for it. You can see the roll cage, speakers back there. Seats look really nice. RCI belts. And inside the door jams look good, nothing crazy or anything like that, no accidents or anything like that. Uh, you see a couple little chips that have been touched up right there. Um, you'll see a little bit of, a little bit of crazing on some of the chrome 
uh, nothing major but just want to make you aware then also you can see this window felt right there it's missing a little piece little cracks right there a couple little little ones there but overall custom door panels all look good and inside the door there looks really nice you can see chip in the corner of the door when it hits right here you can see well it doesn't hit hit well it actually doesn't hit right there it actually goes against the rubber right there and so it, it kind of just chipped off uh, there through time Sparco steering wheel right here is where the horn is five-speed transmission and the top does work you'll see it in my auction pictures and stuff like that uh, it's easy and we'll take a look at the other side real fast actually you can see a little bit of you can see a little bit of crazing right there on that chrome too I'll show you the trunk here in a second as well here you can see this window felt You know, I was reading on the uh, previous build on this car. Uh, I think it cost about ninety-five thousand uh, to build. Um, I don't have any receipts for that or anything, but uh, a lot of work to do what they did uh, to this car uh, in general. Windows do roll up and, and down nicely, but I think they executed it uh, really nice. You know, probably a few because it's only got fourteen hundred miles. Probably a few little bugs to work out uh, here and there on it but as you drive it so uh, but I think it's an excellent car and um, that does push in but I don't have a key you can see the battery is back here and they finished off the trunk and everything it looks good there is no spare tire underneath here but the spare is underneath there and I mean the spare area is there you can see there's no accident damage back here and everything's real clean inside the gutters and everything so looks really nice overall oh i wanted to show you to the pedals and stuff underneath here you can see the pedals hopefully you can see uh, up there let me get my camera it has all new wire wiring and and everything too but i'll Get my flashlight out so you can see up see up there you can see the wiring up underneath the dash but see how far these pedals are out they're not real close uh, to the floor um, down there so I don't know if those could be adjusted um, or re arc these because uh, they they are pretty far up and um, I do a lot of heel toe uh, kind of when I shift it and then also that pedal pushes in so far when you uh, let it out it's almost at the top but the clutch feels awesome it feels really good um, and I can feather it and no problem just the pedal goes there's so much travel uh, down there and there's no stop on it uh, so but um, it's definitely a quick shift type uh, pedal but um, if those could be moved back a little bit that'd be really handy uh, especially if you're really tall wouldn't be hard to do but I just want to make you aware um, of that in general but just a cool car I, I love the car and fun to drive so we'll show you some more stuff take a look at the uh, triumph underneath you're gonna see all the still photos and stuff but I like to do a video uh, as well um, on any car I mean a nice car or car that's got issues or whatever but it uh, gives us a better look at uh, structurally what something is and and the condition I think in a video so I think I was probably one of the first people on bring a trailer that uh, not just was doing videos but did videos of underneath and I think it's it's very very helpful 
Uh, at least I know it is for me if I was going to buy something. So um, we'll just start here from the front to the back. You know, the frame is all painted, very nice underneath here. Car has been driven a little bit, but, um, but overall in great condition. The tires are from uh, 2000, um, 2007, you can see there, and then another one has 2008, um, just when they were built. Uh, there are 205-60-16s on the front and 215 uh, 55 16s on the rear on Panasport uh, wheels kind of a mini light you can see here the suspension um, it isn't adjustable as far as I know but you can see here the suspension and which is kicking the camber out which you can see what they were doing for uh, drifting or racing or I don't think the things ever been on a racetrack but you know I think they wanted to have that kind of look and possibly do things uh, in the future but here you can see all the all the suspension on it in general uh, you can see the Wilwood disc brakes it's got slotted and um, <clears throat> and cross drilled uh, brakes on it they aren't power brakes so it, it still takes uh, quite a bit to to stop them you can see the suspension up here you can see a little tear on that boot right there but everything looks looks in order the frame looks really good front balance everything looks good take a look at the back side here you can see that that's where that turbo is they got a little shield on it up there you can see where they did the uh, steering had to cut a little little um sorry my camera wasn't right there you can see they cut a little notch out there for the steering i don't know if you saw that saw that shield up there for the uh, for the turbos behind here you can see all the the frame looks good floors look really good on the car inner rockers are nice you know this could be painted black along the edge there they probably missed that but you can see the rest of the floors look in really good shape you know no rust and rockers or anything like that fuel filters, fuel pump. You can see a little dent right there in the inner part right there. Probably someone put it on a jack there. We put it on the frame, but they probably put it on the jack right there is what I'm guessing. You know, fuel lines look great. Transmission, that is uh, also Japanese. Out of a skyline, you can see a little bit of oil residue right here at the back of the engine and that could be from oil pressure and pressure from the turbo it's leaking probably past the um, the uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna guess you can see right there it's probably leaking to pass the gasket a little bit but then also I just noticed this there's a little little leak right there on that hose see that right up here a little leak coming down uh, from a blue hose there so that might be our culprit uh, why that's leaking that's the first time I'd seen that but it might be just trailing down there and that's where we're getting that little little drip on the floor every once in a while so might have to tighten that up and look at that um, <clears throat> you know some you'll see a couple little plugs that aren't plugged in obviously because this isn't a 1990s car Take a look back here real fast. You can see the exhaust looks really good. They did a really nice job on the exhaust. And the car just sounds awesome. You heard it earlier. Nissan rear end as well. And it's got a polished housing on the rear. Axles all look good. You see the back Willwood brakes back here. Polished trailing arms. You know, just a, just a cool car for sure. And they did a good job uh, building it. And... Um, you can see the coilovers back there. Up here around the wheel wells, everything looks good. I mean, they started, you know, I think they started from a, actually a pretty good car. And, you know, they didn't car, take a car that was all rusty or anything like that. And that makes a build so much easier uh, in general. But, you know, they built this car to actually drive it. 
uh, not really be a show car, but I mean, you could take it to a show all day long. And but they they wanted to drive this car, and and it is really fun to drive. So we'll go ahead and uh, thanks for taking a look at everything. If you want to go back through the video, uh, you can and just check out all the pictures if you got questions or if you want to come and take a peek at it. Uh, we would love to show it to you and before you bid. So uh, it is a no reserve auction and we'll see how it goes. Thanks for looking. Huh? Yep. Yeah.